Nobody. Alrighty, alrighty. We are live like Memorex. <laughs> so glad you guys are in the house. I am with my girl, Dekeisha. Now. I don't believe you. Are you really live? I am really live. <laughs> I'm really live. See, we got, we got. Okay. <laughs> we are really. Yeah, I got, I got to have proof that we are live, you guys, we're using this new technology where we are actually um, being able to do a Facebook Live, and you can also do a <laughs> YouTube Live with this technology as well, where we can invite others, um, like I invited to Keisha today, so both Yay. of us can be live um, on Facebook, live on YouTube, and bring you guys valuable content as a team, as a collabo, as you know, it's like, you know, so and it's International Women's Day. What can I say? It is, and we have to celebrate the women today. And well, and where you read the Keisha? Wait a minute, it's right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any red. It's right there. So I actually started recording for video series, and I totally forgot my red lyrics. So. Hmm. I forgot my red too. Um, yeah, about that. But you know what? We're still gonna celebrate women, women rights, and everything. And we are, and we are women. Well, I hope so. <laughs> so we can celebrate it. And um, <laughs> to be honest with you, Dakisha, I never had really heard of this, but from my understanding, it's been around for years, and. Mm -hmm. This year, it has just kind of taken legs and just went, just you know, all over. Well, you know, it's really funny because not only is it International Women's Day, but here locally, we are celebrate celebrating Black-owned restaurants. So yesterday, my mother and I, hence the, the post that posted yesterday, yeah, uh, we <laughs> we had lunch out at Kroger Spot, you know, where I took you and Taria to when you guys came here. So I saw the pictures. Yeah. So when you guys come back down. You come back down for our next mastermind. I'll and we'll have to, you know, close out our mastermind there again. But we were talking and we were talking about webinars. Mm -hmm. And you have a webinar coming up. I do have a webinar coming up. It's called Project 63. 63 days to becoming a powerfully profitable personal brand. Say that three times, right? I don't even know why I thought of that. So I have to think when I talk. 63 days to becoming a powerfully profitable personal brand. Like I have okay. to have speech therapist and everything. But um, 63 days to, you know, getting your brand in front of the right audience, increasing your personal brand score. And some people, a lot of people don't even know that they have a personal brand score. And if you don't measure where you are, you can't manage where you are. You don't know if you need to get better, if you're doing okay. Like you really don't know until yeah. you take that assessment um, and know what your personal brand score is. So we did nine weeks. We're doing nine weeks. We're in the middle, as a matter of fact, um, of actually showing you different steps. One, we all figured out what our personal brand score was and where we landed. Then each week we did something different to show people how to increase that personal brand score, how to utilize social media, how to advertise on YouTube for free. Um, all oh, wow. Of stuff. You want all of that? Yeah. Oh my did. goodness. So yeah. is the brand score, is that like an assessment? I like that. It, it is because what doesn't get uh, measured doesn't get managed. You, so we know that. A financial um, analyst here. So you know I love numbers. <laughs> so Do therefore, you know numbers? <laughs> do like, you see? somebody say numbers? Um, <laughs> so therefore, um, we have to kind of know where we are. And the way Absolutely. we analyze that is if you are a three to a four, then it's kind of like, you know, nobody really knows you, but your friends mm -hmm. and your family. Absolutely. So, I like that. You're right there. You're a three to a four. That's where you are out of a 10 point scale. If you are a five to a six, mm -hmm. that means that your friends, your family, and then your Facebook friends, they know. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And that's funny that you say that because that's one of the biggest 
problems that I see with entrepreneurs is that no one knows they exist. I got to plug me up so I won't shut off on you guys. Um, no, one, we don't want that happening, but no one knows that they exist. Like that's one of the biggest struggles that people have is we consider it to be marketing awareness, right? So Correct. you're doing all this stuff and you're promoting all this stuff and you look good, but you really haven't established your brand because no one really knows that you exist. Exactly. So therefore, um, so that five to six is your friends, your family, and then your Facebook friends. Okay. The ones that you kind of interact with and see, hey, what is Keisha doing? What y'all do this weekend? Those type of Facebook friends. Okay. okay. Um, so you got your five to six, but then you have your seven to eight. Mm -hmm. Seven to eight is when the notoriety goes beyond beyond. What I mean by that is you start getting these people that know you, but you don't know them. You ever been in that situation? People come up to you and say, oh my God, you're Takesha. And you'd be like, oh, and I'm like this. I don't know who you are. Mm. Um, yes, that would be me. And you just kind of play it off. <laughs> <laughs> but what that mm. means is you have stepped up to another level. You are at the point where um, more people know you than you know right. them. And therefore, your awareness is becoming larger than life. I like it. Yeah, your awareness becomes larger than life. And you start saying, okay, I must be doing something right because Absolutely. people know who I am. Okay. And that's the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal, I mean, marketing has changed so much. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of one of the reasons why I'm doing my webinar. Because at one point in time, it was all about um, driving, you know, it was push, push, push marketing. And now it's pull. So we want people to come to us. You know, we put information out so that people can say, hey, Lyric, you know what? I saw that you did this for your ex-client. I saw you were doing this online. I saw you at an event. I want you to work with me. And literally, I'm telling you, I've launched a challenge online. And literally within 24 hours, I've gotten a call saying, hey, listen, we need to have a conversation. I want you to help me. Gotcha. Okay, no problem. Yeah, well, that's right. Time, right? Right. And so everybody wants to be able to be to that level, but what they don't understand is that they have to build their brand. Like it's a it's a building process. It is not something that happens overnight. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. Michael Jordan didn't build his brand overnight. No, he did not. And we um, talked about that because when they start getting in your inbox or inviting you to be on their platform there, whether it's mm -hmm. a stage, whether it's a teleconference and you're like, where did these people come from? When right. they start seeking you out, you yep. have gotten to that nine to 10 spot where you are the rock star for real. Um, it gets to the point where you're sought after. Right. No, yeah. absolutely. You're because sought after. I, you know, um, one of the things, that we had talked about it's all about perception perception is the new reality you know you hear me say that all the time perception is the new reality so your brand has to speak for your for itself and it has to really represent you so i love i absolutely love what you're doing you know you know visions just went through an overhaul new logo new website new you know new look, graphics, new, look new everything actually you know, too but you know you can't <laughs> No offense to anybody that has like a GoDaddy website or whatever, but I can't be charging $20,000. Talk about go to my site, you see GoDaddy.com at the bottom. Yeah, pretty much. Saying, or like I'm Wix saying. or something. <laughs> We're not going to do Wix either. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're going to have yeah. a designed website. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's what we talked about was how to increase your personal brand score. So once you figured out where you were, where you land in that ranking. And mind you, um, Dakisha, we didn't talk about the level one to two. You notice I started at three to yeah. four. I, I was getting ready to say, I noticed that you didn't say any, I mean, well, are they even open for business at that level? No. Do you classify them as? We don't acknowledge that level. Okay. I mean, <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, I was just wondering, it makes sense, you know. I mean, it's the, we all have to start from somewhere. We definitely have to start. We do, but three and four, 
that level is friends and family. So if you're below that and you don't have no friends and no family. But you know what? And even at that point in any business, you I think you should start way beyond that point anyway, because a lot of times at that level, no offense if mine are watching, you know, they may not be interested in the products and services that you you have, you know. So you you automatically you have to open your doors and expand your message where it, I mean, if you look at, like you said, your, your brand circle is based on a certain level. So if family and friends are here, mm-hmm. your main goal when you launch needs to be out here. And that's yeah. one of the reasons why on um, next week, we're doing the webinar about seven strategies to double your webinar attendance. Because you're doing a series, right? I mean, and it's great. You know me. Webinars are the best way to develop content in your business, period, point blank. Um, I personally like this type of webinar where you're actually seeing the person and being able to interact with the person. Yeah. Um, I'm not particular. And, and there's nothing wrong with it. There's different platforms where you have, like, the slides and um, you never see that person. Like, there's wow. a time and a place for that. But when you're doing like a webinar where you're actually not only giving valuable information and you're also selling, if you're doing a live video, you know, I like for people, I like for people to see me. I like for people to interact with me. But like, connect. I have a very loud personality, just like you. What? Just like you. Oh, and it comes right through the camera. <laughs> it's like, woo. Right. So, you know, that's how you connect with people. And so you can't see that when I have my screen share and I got my PowerPoints and all that kind of right. stuff. I don't connect with me. So <laughs> no, I agree. I agree totally. And it's all about that connection thing, because we all know that people want to work with people that they know, love and trust. Like they got to like you. you well, and I just literally had this same conversation with a client. Um, they just did a Facebook live and they called and said, hey, what's your feedback? And I'm like, you know what? I The one thing that I would say that I loved about that live was that your personality came through on the live. And yeah. at the end of the day, people are going to swipe their credit card because they like you, right? I mean, it's very hard, and, and I've done it before. I've swiped a credit card with someone that I really didn't, you know, mesh well with, but it doesn't last long. It doesn't last long. So once you actually build that relationship and you actually like that person, not only will it swipe one time, but it'll swipe again and again. <laughs> right? And the best customer is a repeat client. A repeat client. So- it, really, it really is. And, um, and I tell people all the time, um, and know your craft too, because there's nothing like creating your own hype and then somebody swipe a credit card and you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. So if you can create that brand awareness and you have mastered, you know, the art of what you do, it's a win-win for the client and they will be that repeat client that keeps coming back for the services or products that you offer. Well, and the thing about what you love, um, what you do as well, the video piece of it, you know, we just implemented a content marketing strategy in our business mm-hmm. excited, and it all starts with video. So um, I, I think that a lot of people underestimate the value of using video in their business. Um, we're actually looking at adding a video to our landing page for Visions. And when I say we, I'm speaking of Visions Consulting, right? So right now there's a lot of copy on that page, but when you go to that page, there's no video to actually see the person that represents the brand. So again, yeah. hence me getting dressed, you know, ready to record some videos. Um, <clears throat> you know, that's one of the things that I want to do. I want to add a video yeah. actually to, to the website. And then I do a video every single week about a, a, a particular topic um, based on a theme that we've set in the organization. And that video can be repurposed. As a matter of fact, we've got a newsletter going out today too. <laughs> And you know what? I was talking to a client um, earlier that called in and we talked about video and I have several uh, sponsored ads out there. And so when I have somebody that schedules an appointment with me to do a discovery session, I always ask them, how did they get to my uh, calendar? 
mm-hmm. which so I know, you know, what's really working, what's not working. Right. Um, every single appointment I've had, and I've been getting like three appointments a day, like, you know, every single appointment I have, they came from the video of me talking, yep. telling my story and saying, hey, I was just like you. And once I figured it out, I realized I could reach back and help others, you know, create their brand awareness and raise their personal brand score. That's the one. That's the one. And it wasn't nothing fancy. I wasn't right. in the studio. I was in my living room. But because it was visual, they could connect yeah. with me. I told my story and I was authentic. Nice. And that one got me the appointments. Those graphics and little quotes and all that, that's cute but it didn't get me the appointment. That's relevancy. It's relevancy. Yeah. So I was like, let me get 20 on the video, please. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I order some more, please? All right. So listen, so what is tomorrow's webinar about? Uh, about and I mean, where can I go to register? Sure. Great. Great, great, great. I'm going to post it as a matter of fact, in the feed, in the Facebook feed, so you all can go and register what uh, we're talking about tomorrow, Thursday at 8 p.m., we're going to talk about how to create a standout brand. Mm. We're going to talk about how do I stand out amongst a sea of sameness, a sea of sameness. Because yes. it's so many people that are authors, so many people that are coaches, so many people that are speakers, there's so many people that do what you do. Yeah. You're not the only one, okay? But so often I get people that say, um, maybe I should try something else. Everybody does transforming people's lives. Right. No, if that's your passion and that's where you can stay authentic at, you got to yep. stay in your zone. Yep. You got to you find your sassy sauce. <laughs> you have to find your sassy sauce <laughs> and rock out from there because um, it's not that everybody does what you do. It's how can you stand out amongst the rest and, right. you know, capture the attention of your potential client. No, I love that. I, lo- I mean, I love it because I even had that same, you know, that same thought process at times. And I even have that same, I mean, I'm a business strategist. I'm an operations management. I'm a virtual COO. I mean, who else doesn't do marketing consultant? You know, there's a lot of people that build teams. There are a lot of people that help with operations and infrastructure building, you yeah. know, but what is it that the Keisha does differently? So just because there's a lot of competition, I'm not going to say, oh, well, I'm not doing this anymore because everybody's doing it. No, because there's something unique about the way that Takesha C. Williams does the virtual COO. So I love the topic. I'm registering. And I think you should too. Sign up. Okay. But, um, but yeah, definitely. So those are one of the things that uh, we're going to be talking about um to, tomorrow evening and we're going to talk about how do we do it we know okay i got to be better than everybody else we right. got that so we then took the courses we then mastered our craft and so we're excellent at what we do but nobody knows what we do they don't know we're good bad they don't even know we exist i was telling regina hi <laughs> and there's um is it deandra did i say it right Deidre. Deidre. Hey. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Sorry, welcome. Not focus. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put the link in here. Yes. Please let us know where we can register so we can learn how to stand, how our brand can stand out from the rest. I love it. That's, that's a must. So that's what we're going to be talking about. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, Regina. You know, I get, I get excited. I get all focused. <laughs> Regina says she all off track. <laughs> <laughs> How to create that stand out brand. No, and I think it's, it's, it's important. It's still early in the year. You still got, you still have time where you can really focus on your brand. And yes. here's, listen, you know what, Larry? I was listening to the, is it the 12 week year? Is that the oh name of my gosh, that is the bomb.com. I was listening to that again last night and this morning. I know we had we had read that book um a few weeks ago, so I went back to it, right? And I heard something 
And I know I do this in my business, but sometimes we can always get off track, right? Yes. And it's about prioritizing or time blocking. So every single day, Dakeisha blocks out a, I think it's about a three or four hour um, block of time so that I can specifically work on my business. Now, you, you know, I get up at 4.30, 5 o'clock, 5.30. Lord. You're going to bed. I'm getting up. Right, because I've been going to bed at 4.30. <laughs> you go to bed. I'm getting yeah. up. I'm starting to go Yes. But see, that works for me. Number one, well, my daughter gets up at that time, so I can't really say everybody's down, everybody's quiet, but it gives me quiet time where I can literally write. I can write articles. I can have a conversation. You know, I can get my day started. I can get it planned out. I can delegate the assignments to my team. A lot of times we meet in the morning. So I don't like to do client appointments before 11 or 12 o'clock. Because gotcha. not only am I meeting with my team, but we're updating stuff for clients. But we take about two to three hours and we are literally working on Dakeisha's brain. And I have made that a priority where I spend time working on my stuff because for so long, I was always um, working on client work and putting continuously to push my stuff to the side, right? So then what happens? You, 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 you launch something, you, people register and they get the wrong email. Uh, yeah, it happens. Done that. <laughs> then you got to send out a correction email done yeah. that it happened so, you know it really I, i'm glad that you're you're talking about that because people have to understand that not only do you have to put your brand first but then you got to talk about and revisit how are you going to get that done how do you do that so exactly if you're not registered for her webinar then look right because your brand is important your brand represents who you are it's a it's a secondary representation of you you better know it. Um, people should know who you are when you step into the room. I always say that because um, if we kind of just blend in with everybody else, mm -hmm. you know, you're not the standout brain. You want to be top of mind when it comes to um, actually, uh, you know what? Hashtag create your own hype. There you go. There you go, right there. And that's what you have to do because you cannot wait on somebody else to validate who you are. I like it. Hashtag create your own hype. Create I mean, your own hype. hype. Because the minute you wait on somebody to validate who you are, you're going to be waiting a long, can I cuss? Damn time. I mean, <laughs> really, because Sorry. I'm dressed up today. <laughs> it ain't Sunday. It's, you know, because we as women, you know. Regina says, say it. <laughs> We as women, we sometimes get so, you know, try to be so politically correct and, you know, not overstep our boundaries, not be too boisterous, not, you know, but look, if you wait on somebody to put you on their platform, you might be waiting a long time. Hello. Wait to advertise. You can't build your own platform. Right. If you wait um, mm -hmm. to advertise and let people know how great you are, you're going to be waiting a long daggone time. So, you know me, it's rock out or stay home. If you're right. in the game or you're not. You but know? you know what? A lot of people that have a platform started because they built their own platform. And I'm going to tell you, I'm glad that you said that. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you said that because some of the high tier clients that I'm working with, that's the problem that they have. Yeah. That is the problem that they have. Hence why I created my product, right? But think about it. If you're going to speak on someone else's platform, exactly their audience. So when you get home and you want to promote your new product to, who are you promoted to? Because you don't have a list. Yeah. You don't have your own platform. I mean, don't get me wrong. You may have generated leads when you're on that platform or when you're on their platform, but... If you're speaking to an audience of 2,500 people and only 15 opt-in, you do the math. I mean, you're still, you know, granted, you got your check and you're going home, but that's one check. You can't, you can't swipe that credit card every single month. 
And that's why it's important that you have multiple, not only multiple streams of income, but you have to build your own tribe. You have to create your own hype and you have to have your own platform. Hence why webinars should be non-negotiable in your business. If you want to know how to get more people on your webinar, can I put my plug in here? I was getting ready to ask you because <laughs> the thing is, um, now that you created your brand awareness, right? Mm -hmm. we, all right, we didn't created our own hype. We, you know, got to do some webinars. We got to get in front of more people. We got to let them know because that's part of creating your hype is being in front of more people. Okay. But the Keisha, I know your thing is, hey, how do we get a lot of people on the webinar, okay? Right. Because if you're trying to create your own hype and you only got one person that registered and that was your cousin, yeah, you, might as well, you might as well cancel. You might as well cancel Christmas with that. So you I might know that you're having to remarket all over again. Right, start from scratch. Let me scratch you know your cousin's people. not going to buy. You, you know your cousin's not going to buy. Not gonna buy nothing. Not it's not even gonna give you enough energy. So Cause they're gonna call you and want the hookup. Not the hookup. I'm sorry. Okay, focus. Not the hookup. <laughs> so I know that you're having a webinar. Is it next Tuesday? Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. Seven strategies to double your webinar attendance. Now I know a lot of people are either getting started doing webinars. Um, just kind of getting the swing of things to do webinars, and they get frustrated because. You know, five people show up, 10 people show up. But listen, you know what? Start where you are. Yeah. So one of the things, well, seven things that I'll be sharing is some strategies that you can implement so that you can kind of double your, double your webinar attendance. And the thing about it is there's a system that has to be in place in order for you to get the numbers that you want. And, and now honestly, you know, at one point in time, I thought you needed to have like 30 days to promote a webinar. Nope. I thought you needed to have seven to 14 days to promote a webinar. Nope. Yeah. You can literally promote within three to five days um, of your webinar to start building your list and getting people to participate. One of our clients, we had like 300 people on their list and they had a, over a hundred something show up. And, and I mean, we did it in less than a week. So it's possible. Now, granted, is that going to work for everybody? Probably not. So when you start out, you know, there's seven things that you have to do and you have to do them consistently. But we all know that you have to plan it out in advance. So uh, mm -hmm. join me. You can register at sassysuccesssecretslive.com. Uh, we're going live. It's going to be 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know me. I like to do my stuff during daytime. Let me put that in one more one more time, Dakisha, because I want to make sure everybody gets on it because that's part of creating your your hype is absolutely people on the webinar. Sassy Success Secrets Live dot com. Sassy Success Secrets Live dot com. Regina say Ray Ray wants to hook up. <laughs> that's right though. She absolutely right. They all do. But yeah, so I'm excited to to um to share some strategies and some tips on ways that you can kind of you know, jump the the enrollment for your, your webinar. And, and and it's not all paid advertising. It's certain things that you can actually do that don't cost you. Um, a lot of times, too, you are you speaking on something that people want to hear? Mm -hmm. Or are you speaking on something that you want people to hear? And, you know, it's really funny because people create products the same way. Right. So we develop, and, uh, and I've done it, we develop products based on what we think people need versus, on, versus what they actually need. So are you, is your content going to be something that really satisfies a need for your audience? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I know for a fact that there are people out there that are still doing webinars. I know for a fact that there are people out there who don't know how to click the button to go live on a webinar. I mean, not not you, Larry. You mean you're no, live? No, no, I was agreeing with you. You're live, but it's actually some people that are like, I don't even know what platform to use, and even if I buy it, I don't even know what to do with it. Okay. Yeah. So they resort to or result to like a Periscope or Facebook Live, which don't get me wrong, those are great platforms. 
but it's also not a platform where you have a specific audience who's interested in your topic. My thing with Facebook Live and Periscope, everybody is open to everyone. And how are you lead? How are you collecting leads? Unless you're giving out a gift, right? Pretty much. That's the only. That's the only way that you're going to generate leads unless you give out a list. Now, if you develop a webinar platform based on a topic that you know is going to satisfy a need or solve a problem, then they're going to give you their information and you're going to build your list. Mm -hmm. And nine times, I, I was reading something a few weeks ago and people that are on your list are nine times more to purchase from you than those that are not on your list. Hmm. Yes. Yes, and, and you're in constant communication with them. You're constantly providing value to them. Absolutely. In one form or another. Um, Dakisha, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. So for that person, because I, I run into a lot of entrepreneurs that are just starting their, you know, their brand awareness. Okay. And one of the things I do tell them, you got to get in front of more people. You got to get in front of more people. And doing a webinar series is one of the things that I suggested because I have personally done it myself. Oh, yeah. Um, takes commitment. It, it, it takes commitment. You can't <laughs> quit. Um, but the thing is, give a tip to that person who just kind of doesn't have a list. How do they get started in just doubling that number for their first webinar? Because it's one thing if you know people and your brand score is like a you know, nine, 10, seven, eight. What about mm -hmm. that person that's a three, four um, personal brand score? And they say, hey, I'm gonna do a webinar to get in front of more people. So, and basically it's funny because what happens is now you have to create a relevancy score. Now, how relevant, how relevant are you in the marketplace? Because everybody's making noise in the marketplace, but what are you doing to raise above all the noise? Right. <laughs> So that's where your Periscopes and your Facebook Live become important because mm -hmm. you can get on there every day and share 15 to 20 minutes worth of information that is valuable, but it is not the same information that you're going to be sharing on your webinar, right? <clears throat> so um, I suggest you do a seven-day series. I did 21 day. Let me tell you. <laughs> One more days is a long time. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you. It is, because I'll be looking at nine like, woohoo. 21 days 21 is a long days, time. You're 21 days consecutive days, right? And I took the weekends off. So it literally <laughs> ran a month. Mm -hmm. oh, so I would suggest a shorter time frame. Now, don't get me wrong. It takes 21 days to do um, to change it, uh, create a habit. Yes. But not when you take the weekend. <laughs> You take the weekends off. <laughs> you cheating. <laughs> so, but seriously, <clears throat> all jokes aside, seriously, do like I said, yeah, 21 days was a long, that was a long time. But you said you cheated <laughs> by taking you the weekends off. Huh? I didn't. I, I didn't. I'm sorry. Listen, I go to the football field. I go to gymnastics. You know, I just. Up. I go to the movies on a week. I'm not that entrepreneur that grinds seven days a week. <laughs> mm -mm. Not me. <laughs> you know a little meme that says the entrepreneur light don't go off? You're lucky I can't see to get to this camera because I just turn the light off. <laughs> I'm going to tell you because this light goes off. Do you hear me? <laughs> yes, my entrepreneur light goes off. But no, but so 21 days is a little extreme. So like I have a client that's actually doing a seven day challenge, right? <clears throat> and if I had to do it again, I would do a seven day challenge. I would at least do the seven day, first seven days free so that people can get access to it. So now you're, you're consistently being seen on social media platforms. Um, right. I also recommend a content marketing strategy where you're putting out information on a daily basis. You can't be the one hit wonder, right? You put out one album and they're like, whoo, yeah, what was the name of that song? Mm. Y'all remember? Come and on. that's exactly how they're going to do your brand. Remember that girl? Remember she had that logo, and it was purple yeah. and pink, and yeah. it was black something? Y'all know <laughs> who I'm talking about. But you don't, and you don't want them to do your brand like that at yeah. all. So you want to stay relevant. So you, and it's, 
being top of mind. Yeah. So when they, when that, because here's the thing, 67% of the people that you want to purchase from you, they don't even realize they have a problem. Isn't that crazy? They don't realize they have a problem. Only 3% know that they, they literally have a problem and they're looking for someone to solve the problem. And what is happening is most entrepreneurs are trying to market to the 3% instead of marketing to the 67%, or actually it's like 33%, excuse me. So it's 67% out here that have no clue that they're actually in pain because it's not as bad as a, a deep cut that needs stitches, right? Mm -hmm. They just got a little paper cut, ow. <laughs> right, but that's because they haven't measured where they stand, so they don't even realize they're in trouble. That's my point. Hey, Crystal, Crystal Carter just joined on, but that's my point. You know, they're walking around with a little paper cut. You know, you and I know if we get a paper cut on our hand, we're going to keep going. Keep moving. But, you know, nobody but the Keisha gets a paper cut in her eye. <laughs> nobody. Not once. Twice. Yes. So what happens? That hurts. <laughs> I'm saying like, like in your eye. Like eye. Yes, like in my eye. So you, you're not making that up. Oh, no, I was, this was a while, well, the first time was a while ago. And, you know, you know, I thought I was cute, right? Washing my car, right? It's probably when I was single. I don't know. And I'm vacuuming, right? And I pulled out the, and it was a carpet. It was the little rug, the mat. <laughs> it literally cut me. And, you know, I'm swinging it out thinking I'm trying to, you know, you, you got to pay a dollar to vacuum the car. So you only get like 30. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> You only get 30 seconds, right, with your dollar. <laughs> so I'm, you know, trying to hair be cute. And I take the man out and literally slash my eye. Oh my but that hurts. Ain't no going back to work after that. I'm driving like this. That's pain. I have to go get that check right now. And so what happens in business is a lot of times we're dealing with people who have paper cuts. Not someone who's literally slash their eye with a rug mat and that's how you have to look at it so what do you what do you say to someone who has a paper cut versus somebody that's standing in front of you with a patch on the eye to say yes honey yeah girl i slashed my eye that that's not a paper cut <laughs> <laughs> right it's a rug burn of the eyeball i mean Clearly, if you were to see me like this, you know I have a problem. Yeah. But if you saw me, if I came up to you and said, hey, little girl, oh, you got a band-aid? You know, you never know I have a paper cut. So what do you say to someone who has a paper cut and it hurts, but it's like, eh, I'm all right. And it's the same thing. They're getting, you know, deposits in their business. And we got a little bit. Light bill, we put it on uh, um. <laughs> on a payment plan. If you just saw, oops, we missed the payment. We can pay in a seven or 10 days when our client pay. You know, so some you have some clients that are getting money in, but right. it's staggering in, right? It's not consistently coming in. So they haven't shut all their services off yet. Mm -hmm. Coming. And what happens is they usually come to find you when all their service is off. But guess what? Then they can't afford you. Can you say that one more again? Okay. Yeah. They cannot afford you once you, and this is, this is the problem. Yeah. People wait until the pain is so bad, so bad that they can literally, they can't take it anymore. That's when they're ready to solve the problem. So it's our job and it's our responsibility to help them see the pain. For an example, you said, you know, it's your job to help them raise their brand score. That's the reason that people don't know who the heck you are. Like, that's mm -hmm. why they don't know who you are. You don't exist. So Chris was saying, you know, what do you use to help get your content out daily? Right. Ask that question. Are you talking about software? Or are you talking about what system? How do I come up with my content? So actually, I want to be generous and I'm going to share both. Mm, Y'all got the right one today. Hmm. You guys so, got the right one today. And while you're doing that, um, Dakeisha, I know um, putting the content out there daily, um, Crystal, is what you have to do. Like, there's no options. 
There's uh -huh. times when I'm like, oh my God, I'm so tired. But I will roll over, get that phone out, and post something. Absolutely. You know, I was sharing a video, a promo video of, of me when I um, had to work at BET to a potential client. And I said, oh, that's some good stuff. I'm going to repurpose it. And I posted it today. Mm -hmm. you know, it still was hot. I said, oh, this is hot. You know? <laughs> so sometimes, <laughs> you know, I saw that. I, I saw that. You don't have to think video. real hard. I saw, the video. I saw that. Because I was tired. I, you know, I work late to the wee hours of the morning, but I still have to produce the content. And right. when I pulled it up to share with somebody in their inbox, I said, this is kind of hot. So you don't have to reinvent the wheel every single day. You have to produce. Right. And that's it. So I put that out and was like, okay, I'm looking hot again. I'm, you know, I'm on fire. So um, <laughs> don't, don't make it too hard on yourself. And I'm going to go back in my archive and see what else I got that's kind of sizzling. But you know what? That's the way to do it. And look, I got to go back because all my videos uh, that I shared, um, they were shared. Uh, I got to make them public. Anyway, so to answer Crystal's question, she says software. Um, okay. <clears throat> right now, I actually use Hootsuite, to be honest with you. Um, there's Meet Egger, there's Buffer, there's Hootsuite. Um, I particularly use Hootsuite just because of at the, the I already have a particular method that I use. Uh, so Hootsuite works with the method because I'm providing the system with content, right? I'm not, I'm not utilizing the software to find content for me. Whereas mm. I believe Buffer is set up where you can um, integrate it with Feedly, which finds content for you. So I, I don't have my content marketing system set up that way. I know a lot of people do. They share their content, but they also share someone else's content. But right now on my page, I, I share my content on an automated system. And I share other people's content at my leisure. So I click the button. <laughs> so for me, Hootsuite works because I'm providing the content to my social media person and they're posting it out there for you, for me. And so you'll see something go out every single day and it's on every platform. I'm posting on Facebook. I'm posting in groups. I'm posting in LinkedIn. I'm posting in LinkedIn groups. I'm posting on Instagram. I'm posting on Twitter. I'm posting on SoundCloud and YouTube. But Dakisha doesn't have to do it. No. Mm, you are all over the place, the kids. Oh, what? But and but I don't necessarily spend my time on that yeah. platform. You yeah. don't see me spending an hour on YouTube. Exactly. You don't see me spending an hour on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But I'm I am visible and I am relevant because everyone has their has their social media platform that they really, really love. And you know, what's really funny is I'm on Snapchat, but I'm only on Snap. That is the one platform that's a personal platform for me. <laughs> I am. Only because my daughter now has streaks. Do you even know what a streak is? Uh, you said no. a streak? No. See? Yep. Snapchat is not a personal. I am not posting um, my videos. <laughs> no sassiness on, on mm -hmm. Snapchat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to even give you my Snapchat handle. <laughs> I can't nope. take it. But you know what, um, Dakisha, I'm glad that we um, decided, hey, let's just, you know. Then let's have a conversation. Yeah, let's just have a conversation because um, so many people don't know. Uh, so many people don't know that you could do a webinar and stream live on Facebook like we're right. doing now. Um, and we're creating content by doing this. So guess what we're doing? We are popping it open. It's live on Facebook. No problem. Recording. But we're recording it and we're going to put a nice little thumbnail on the front and we might put a call to action on the back and we're going to put that in YouTube. We're going to put that on Facebook. The link can go on Twitter. The whole nine yards. We develop content. I'm this telling way. you, Listen, you ain't got to get it right. You just got to get it going. 
It doesn't have to be right. You don't have to be right. You just got to get started. Um, that, that's it. I mean, we all make mistakes on the way, you know? Trust me. Right. I'm still making mistakes. It happens. It's today. Like, especially with technology. Look, you know. today. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still making mistakes today. <laughs> and it still is um, something you have to push for, something that you have to be consistent with. Because I did not want to get up and put on lipstick and comb my hair and, you know, try to find some jewelry. I didn't want to do it. That's just jewelry. real talk. It's real you talk. That sometimes. Listen, yeah. I have on a full dress and tights lyric. You know good and well. <laughs> All right, I ain't doing that. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you have somewhere to go and you just happen to have on the tights? And the I dress? ain't got nowhere to go. Mm -mm. Nope, I was recording today. I made it up in my mind. I, and I literally blocked out the time. And I was telling um, somebody earlier, I turned off the ringer on my phone and I turned the phone off over so i would not see it and literally recorded a new product that i'm launching so that i could get it done like mm -hmm. and that's what you have to do you have to block it out and focus on you and just get it done i know crystal said that that was an area that she's struggling with and crystal has an awesome topic because crystal um yes about business development she does project management and she does talks about business plans and i can remember I, you remember i used to do the profit plan right Mm -hmm. Business plan, $31,000, $500. Let me tell you, I ain't writing nobody's profit plan. <clears throat> <laughs> Call Crystal. So I will, I will be referring everyone to Crystal Carter if they need a business plan because Dickie's just not writing profit plans anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but I will say one thing too. Um, get yourself around some people that's going to push you. Because oh, I, honestly, today was just like, I worked to 4.30 in the morning. And I had to get right back up at like 7.15. So yep. I'm a little grumpy, you know, this morning. I didn't, you know, I was like, oh, I don't want to do no content. I don't feel like it. Um, but Sometimes you, you got to do things when you don't feel like it. Yeah. That's what I'm but, the, but the difference is having people around you that want to see you succeed just as bad as, you know, they want to succeed for themselves. So they're not going to let you get into that zone of, I don't feel like it. Today ain't the day. I don't, I'm not in the, you know. I told her, I told her to get ready. Come on, let's I go. I want to take my hair out the little wrap. I, <laughs> to, I have my hair wrapped up. I got on sweats. I got on a t-shirt. You know, I no said, come on, Lyric, I'm dressed up. You get dressed up too. <laughs> Now, I'm not putting on no dress and tights. But it's I, all about it's all about being present. It's all about being yeah. relevant. So Lyric has a knowledge of information about video marketing. You guys know that I'm always talking about building teams. But what I've found is everybody's not ready to build their team. They need to generate revenue before they can build their team. So that's why having a product launch is really, really important, which is what Lyric is right in the middle of. And you're promoting a freaking event. I am Rockstar Media Revolution. It is going down in April, the day after my birthday. You might want to mark that in your calendar, April 13th. Mm -hmm. It's a national holiday. So <laughs> I figure what a better time to, to have an event. And the thing, to be honest with you, Dakisha, it wasn't planned. It wasn't right. like, okay, I'm going to have this event. It's going to be on this day. It's going to be at this location. I was actually doing my webinar. And on my webinar, I had a lot of newbies, a lot of people mm -hmm. that were just starting, a lot of people that just needed help um, and, you know, wasn't necessarily at that 20K level, you know, but doesn't mean that they don't need the tools or the resources or the things to kind of jumpstart their business. So right. as I was talking, it just came to me. I said, Dang, I remember being just like them. I remember wanting to work with the best. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the best money. Okay. <laughs> but I'm a little warped. I didn't want to work with the regular people that didn't have a track record. I just, right. You know, no, absolutely. I, I just didn't, uh, but I couldn't afford the people that had the track record. So I was right. like, oh, ah, what do I want to do? Because I want to be great. That was the goal. Um, but I just didn't have it. So I remember that. And 
on my webinar, I saw me in them. You know, mm -hmm. I saw the same questions, the same demeanor, the same cry for help. And I said, you know what I'm going to do? You identified their pain points. I saw it. And yep. I could relate. That was the thing. And you I immediately could... acted on it. And so I thought about when I'm in the studio and I'm working with the Dr. George Frazier's, the Cheryl Woods, the, you know, Willie Jollies. And that's great and all. And I love them dearly. I know. I was so jealous when you was with Dr. Jolly. But go ahead. I love them dearly. But the thing is, I um, realized... Y'all hear my little puppy? Um, Somebody rang the doorbell. <laughs> but, the, but, the, but the thing is, I, um, I love working with them. Like, I have a ball. Mm -hmm. But I am what you call the people's champ. I'm that one. I'm, I'm, you know, I like the underdog. Right, 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 right. I've Absolutely. Done that. So those clients that are here, that's fine. But it's more that are down here that's crying, hey, help a sister out. Right. And that's that 67%. And so, so, what, I did, is it? Yep. so what I did was, um, what I did was, Say, you know what? I'm gonna give them. A this is what I love about live because everything happens in real time. So if someone rings your doorbell, you know it, and the dog barks. It don't work. I mean, really, I just <laughs> and, and there's nobody here to grab her. You know, I'm surprised she's not down here hopping across. I was waiting for. I was waiting for her to come hop in your lap, like literally. So you know, and it, it and is. It happens. Like it. And it happens. Um, <laughs> I tell you guys. So, but the thing is, I said, you when know is the event again? It's April 14th and 15th. It's the Rockstar Media Revolution. One day, it's a two day event. One day is going to be straight training. Straight training, nothing okay. else. We're going to get someone there. type that Rockstar Media Revolution. Yeah, rockstarmediarevolution.com. Actually, you can go to it. And, April 14th and 15th. Yeah, and the Ooh, thing is, right when tax money comes back, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oops. Delete and, that part. <laughs> right. And the thing is, so um, you really can't close some deals. <laughs> I'm telling you. But I didn't even think like that, Dakisha. But thanks for bringing it to my attention. I'll call I around the 10th. Okay, I'm sorry. I got to do it. Call around one. the 10th. <laughs> but that first day is straight training. <laughs> that but is funny. Training. I mean, not training where we skimming across the top and you get just right. enough. No. Move to the left. Hit this button. Hit that button. Make sure this is connected. This is how you connect it. Reel it on air. Boom. Hit it. Implementation. Okay. Interactive. I love it. That's what people need. And then on day two is Lights, Camera, Rockstar. We uh -oh. are actually going to record your lead gen video, your storytelling video, your welcome videos, your thank you videos, your social nice. media commercials you're going to get a logo reveal you're going to get a photo shoot you're going to get the squad you're going to get you a selfie ring light i wish i had mine down here because i'd never leave home without <laughs> it um but that's a lot i love it no that is a lot that is and a i'm lot. telling you if you get all those videos that is what's going to set you apart from everyone else because a lot of times you find people trying to piecemeal it together mm -hmm. bit by bit so it's great that, and you know, I love that you're offering that all at one setting. And so, not at the $25,000 price. No. I mean, because what happens is when they leave your event, they literally have everything that they need to be successful. Right. right now. It's a starter kit. But I will say this, Dakisha, you know, and if you've been in the studio with me, I'm very, very hands-on. Oh, yeah. I am... You know, fixing your hair, pulling down spanks. I'm telling the makeup artist, don't put that lipstick on. Give her another color. I'm like, smile, show up right, stand up straight. I'm very hands-on. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, I can't have a room full of 50 people. Right. No, 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 no. No, absolutely. So it's very limited. It's by invite only. You have to schedule an appointment and wow. um, go through the interviewing process because... Mm -hmm. I can only technically take 10. I'm pushing it, 
by saying 15 because we had an overwhelming response. Right. Yeah. And then with studio and everything like that. So, I mean, if you're not in that 10, you know, I just can't. And then the bonus uh, session to this thing is after the event is over, we have six weeks of extended training Mm -hmm. and three I'm stuck calls. You ever, oh, you know, that, you know, you know, we always get stuck. I'll, I'll, even, call, call. I'll even call and say, hey, Terry, answer, answer me. <laughs> right. Because after we go home, we've all been to the events, bought the kit, t shirt, and everything, and still don't Absolutely. know what the heck to do. Yep. Been there, done that. I call that the binder, the binder boot camp. And so I'm not you doing come back that. home with the binder, and you, that's all you got. You don't know what to do. So I could take on 10 people. I'm not taking on 50. So the spaces are limited. And I'm not just saying that. They Love it. Love it. For real, so that I could put my hands on you and make sure that you show up great. And I don't pass you off to somebody else. I do it. So, all right. So before we get out of here, how do we register for your webinar tomorrow? You got to put the link back in. Oh, it's gone. I, um, hey, it's way, look, it's way up top. I see it. Oh, it's Zoom. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay. And what time? It's 8 p.m. Project, hashtag Project 63. Okay, there you go. Ah, I, pinned, I, like, I like that you pinned it at the top. <laughs> I pinned it at the top, so therefore it doesn't go missing. But not only that, guys, if you're really interested in the Rockstar Media Revolution, you can go to rockstarmediarevolution.com. That's rockstarmediarevolution.com. And let's schedule a time that's best for you so that we can um, actually get you started. Because we do work before the event. We got to get logos done. We got to get logo reveals done, the intros. And those type of things have to be done way before you get to the event. And we got to have that brand strategy, that brand analysis, so that I know when you show up how to go in and make sure that we create your hype for your brand the right way. And yeah. Keisha, you should come and show us a couple of things. You're not that far away. I know. As long as we don't have a gymnastics meet that weekend. And sometimes that's up the street. We, just said we don't. So there's our ticket. <laughs> We're going to be there. We're going to so, put it on our calendar. So definitely. Um, and I'm sure the people would like um, the different dynamics that you bring to the table that can help them create this team and um double that oh, yeah absolutely attendance rate so it's a method to the madness and um we got the answer so i just want to serve my people you know I love it. my people so so listen so once you register for her webinar you participate tomorrow um you're going to come on over to sassy success secrets live.com yes, you're going to learn how to double your webinar attendance so that you can build your own platform. She's going to help you with the branding so that you stand out outside or out of the crowd, right? So you can make more noise in the marketplace than any other brand. But I'm going to actually show you how to build your platform so that you can make more money in your business. And we're going to help you double your webinar attendance with seven strategies on Tuesday. And you can register at sassysuccesssecretslive.com. That's sassy success secretslive.com. So Lyric, you know what? It's been fun hanging out with you today. I still got videos. I can't even take, look, I can't even change from my other clothes on. Mm -mm. I can't believe you got on a dress with some. I have on a whole dress. Do you have on high heels? I mean, really? <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> I have on slipper. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. <laughs> but it is so wonderful. But I just want to thank you guys for showing up. Uh, International Women's Day. We don't have on our red, but we rocking with you guys. Um. <laughs> hey, we're getting some hearts over here. I see them. <laughs> I don't know who it is, but I see hearts. We might need to do this once a week. What you guys hey, think? I love it. You have just been satisfied. <laughs> you like that, right? You remember that from <laughs> from Florida? <laughs> I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh, 
All right, gang, I appreciate you. And you know, always, always, you know, I love when you guys support what we do and we do this because we want you to win, you know, and that's the ultimate goal is for Absolutely. my people to win. And you know me, hashtag rock out or stay home, guys. Let's get started. You got the resources. The Keisha's having, you know, something. I'm having something and it's free.com. There's no excuse why you can't be great because you have the resources to do so. Hey, it's time to walk in your role as a CEO. Are you a CEO? Are you an employee of your own company? Let's walk in our role. We're CEOs. All right. Talk to you guys later.